We got breaking news over in Syria. El Asham, which is a Al Qaeda ISIS linked terrorist group that America funds and trained in Jordan, thought it'd be a good idea to launch an attack on a Russian airbase right outside of Raqqa in the late hours last night. So there was 37 rockets that were fired at the uh, the Russian airbase. Luckily, no no Russians were killed during this attack. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. What the hell are they thinking here? I don't know. Sounds like some covert fucking CIA bullshit to me, huh? Doesn't it? Sounds like John Bolton's trying to get his hands dirty over there or something, dude. Yeah. Well, anyway, other than that, too, and then there was also balloon bombs that were sent over from... From uh, the northern Gaza Strip, there was a bunch of balloon bombs that were sent over during the night, and they exploded all over Israel, and Israel got pissed off and responded back with airstrikes and blew the living shit out of the Hamas motherfuckers that launched these things. And other civilians that were in the area also lost their lives, too, as well. la da 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 Just the oldest story in the book, right? Civilians lose their lives. Hamas uses people as human shields. Thinks it's a good idea to send balloon bombs over. You know, that's like shooting uh, that's like shooting M1 Abrams tank with a fucking BB. You know what I'm saying? You, all you're going to do is just ricochet out the thing and it's just going to piss it off. And then the thing's just going to turn its turret at you and that's it. Well, that's the way I look at it, Israel, because that's exactly what they do. You know, when they when they shoot an AK-47 or launch some stupid little homemade fucking rocket from Hamas at fucking Israel, then they respond with the might of uh, F-22s and F-35s with spice bombs, spice 2000s, dude. You name it, they use bunker busters. They got it, dude. They have the Air Force. But when you're when you fuck, just think about it. That'd be like Cuba releasing balloon bombs on America. What do you think America's gonna do? Yeah, right, dude, America would be in there so fast. We'd have so many aircraft carriers surrounding Cuba, dude, and we'd pound the shit out of Cuba, man. That's exactly what would happen, dude. Yeah, so that's kind of what happens over there. Think of it that way, you know what I mean? Having people sending b bombs off in your backyard, I don't, I don't blame them in the least. So, if they, <laughs> you know what I mean? You start the fight, Amos. You want to start the fight? Israel's just going to end it, dude. And don't call me a Zionist. I am not a Zionist. I, I believe that all religions are created equal, but I also believe that there's only one God. So if you believe in multiple gods, if you live in, like, India or something like that, I'm, I'm not sure how that all goes. I don't know. Good luck with that when you when you go up there to talk to Yeshua Mahamashia. Good luck trying to explain to him that you have multiple gods. I don't know how well that's going to work. I'm not saying I'm hating on you and I don't like you or anything like that, but... It might get a little hairy and rough for you when you get up there, so I don't know. Good luck with that. So that's all I got to say. So they'll probably put you in the naughty room, in the timeout room. So I don't know. Or maybe God's got some kind of kindergarten class, you know, fucking religion for abonics up there or something like that. Who knows, right? And if you're naughty, then you got to sit and listen to Oprah. You don't want to have to listen to Oprah or Whoopi Goldberg rant and rave about how liberals are the greatest people in the world. Yeah, you don't want to hear that. No, no. Liberals, those liberals are just fanatical psychopaths, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine that, that bitch was thinking about running for president? Can you imagine Whoopi Goldberg or Oprah was your president? Could you imagine? Oh, Oh, that would be the end. I'd move, dude. I'm out of here, man. Like my kids always say, man, we got to move to Canada, dude. We got to move to a country where they don't fuck with all the other countries, dude. Where they don't stick their nose up everybody's ass. That's that's why. That's why our kids, uh, they ask me almost daily, Dad, I want to move to Canada, man. Fuck this place. Nibiru, you know, Nibiru's going to fuck up the world regardless, and Canada's a good, safe spot to be in. I'm just like, well, parts of Canada are good, safe spots to be there's a lot more good spots to be in Canada than there are in the United States of America. I'll tell you that when it comes to a major pole shift. So Canada's got it going on, dude. Way to go, Canadians. Yay, Canadians. I love the Canadians, dude. They're all getting high right now. Yeah, they got it going on. They know what they're up to. Yeah, they're cool. We love Canada. We do. They're our ally. They're a damn good ally, too. So... 
But you're always coming down here to shop. Your sales tax is just a little high. You know, I don't blame you. That, hey, you keep Fargo green, right? You keep the restaurants going and you keep the freaking... And you keep the uh, the malls nice and packed, full of young and adventurous little teenagers from Canada, right? So, all right, well, I love y'all. You have a good one. And as always, love and peace from Fargo, the crazy days we're living in, balloon bombs and El Asham and fuck. It just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. You know, first it's Venezuela down there, then this. It just never ends, dude. The news never ends, you know? Just when you think all eyes are on Venezuela right now trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do, you know, then they got this shit going on. So I'm glad that no Russians were killed during this attack. That's a good thing because we don't want any Russians to die. No Russians dead. No, 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 we don't run to Russia dead because if Russia dies, we're in deep shit. Because then they'll respond with the hand of God, uh, and they'll fucking wipe down El Asham and bomb them. I wouldn't be surprised, at least they got their bombers in the air right now, bombing the shit out of Asham right now. I wouldn't be surprised in the least, dude. This is Russia we're talking about, man. So, don't be shooting at Russia, El Asham. <laughs> Alright, love you all.